Episode 6. Well, cartoon fans, comic book fans, fellow citizens everywhere, there you have it. This is the completed work, the final picture of the Mighty Energy Girl and Nutso and Fingers from the Vinny Vitti Da Vinci Gang. We have in these five previous installments followed this panel from blank page to this finished work with a little bit of empty gabble gabble in the background and a lot of cartooning fun in between. So, where do we go from here? I hope you've enjoyed the past five episodes and learned something as you've watched. Cartooning is a great hobby. It's also a very fine profession for those so employed, but even if it's just a hobby, I have been drawing cartoons now and comic books for almost 50 years as an avocation just for the pure love of the craft. I'm hoping that this nonsense, uh, nonsensical time of watching this happen may even inspire some of you to pick up a cartoon pen, get yourself a piece of paper, and try this for yourself. I was talking earlier about not being able to draw people of color. And uh, part of this due to the lack of pens of the right color for the skin. And part of it that I uh, personally have not, in my younger years, been in a place where there were many people of color, so I don't know how to draw them well. Now that certainly is uh, not an excuse in itself. I could uh, get pictures and photographs and maybe even some People agree to model for me and learn. But I said that we often draw what we know. So uh, the other thing that might be said is more and more people of color are to be found even on the pages right here in the amateur comic sections on the computer who are doing their own comic books. Um, who can better tell a story than one who is there? So whoever you are, male, female, whatever color, whatever type of genre, whatever type of stories you prefer, what's your story? No one can tell it exactly like you can, you know. So you don't quite see something portraying what you want to be said in the comic book pages? Well, then I guess that means we're looking for you. Get yourself a pen, get yourself a paper, and let's see what you've got to say. But instead of just saying it, say it with cartoons. When I was a very young boy, every, uh, every weekend, I would go down, more than every weekend, but um, I would go down to the local drugstore in the small town in which I grew up, and there was a comic book rack there. And the first thing I would do is I would pull out my allowance and I would pull 12 cents out of my pocket and I wanted to read about a certain character that all of you probably have heard of many times. A visitor from another planet who, uh, although he has the powers of a god, at least until recently, sees himself mainly as human. And, uh, or more accurately, as a protector of humans, he was one of the first to dress up like a human when he wasn't on duty. He deliberately chose a profession in his um, secret identity where he could be aware of when people needed help and what was going on in the world. And uh, it was definitely a product of its times. He was invented by two kids still in high school when they started. He worked for a major newspaper, of course, back in the days when that was the quickest way to get your news. You all know who I'm talking about. The Mighty Energy Girl, my character, is a tribute to a number of people and a number of sources. Although she's female, there is a little bit of my story in her. Um, she is a tribute to that 
more famous character I was telling you about, although she's not exactly the same. She also is an embodiment of back in those days you didn't often see superheroes get married or and I wonder what would it be like if superheroes were real to actually know one personally? What would it be like at the end of the day when they came home? What would they be like after their work day was over? You know, in public they could not show the frustrations they felt. What scares them? If you are nearly omnipotent, what, what bothers them? Um, what would it be like to be a superhero's confidant or even better to be married to one? And what would it be like if you yourself were mortal? and married to someone who wasn't, but who loved you nonetheless. And that basically is the kernel out of which, the kernel idea out of which the Mighty Energy Girl character was born. Now today there's probably lots of stories like that, but when I started out, at least I hadn't seen many of them, and that was, that was what I intended to do. So, once again, this is... Uh, January of 2018, who'd have ever dreamed, for those of us who are older, that uh, we would live to see this day. This is my story. I'm Ken Bailey. This is the Mighty Energy Girl and Stan P. Buddy, her husband, who, by the way, looks a little like her creator. Now, what's your story? Grab a pen and get to work. Thank you.